I'm, I'm over bringing in European competition mm. to play the MLS All Stars. Why? Isn't because it the entertainment there's, factor there's that everyone two, loves? There's two different perspectives going into this game from the two different teams. We alluded to it yesterday. MLS, it's all show. It's all fun and games. Yes. It's to give people minutes to just show off the talent in MLS, which, frankly, you couldn't see that much. To be honest, guys, yeah. I fell asleep after 2-0 because I was more interested in, in the Women's <laughs> World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so I went to sleep, but I saw the first two goals, and immediately you can tell that there's, they're on two different paths Do right you now. Have Arsenal you the best, think it damages the, MLS's I, image? I think a little bit, yeah, because look, I, Arsenal, are, well, they were one of the best teams in the world <laughs> last year, and they're going into a preseason trying to get their, their system into motion again and trying to get things up and running, and, and they're taking a preseason game much more seriously than MLS is taking this really fun game. And in Major League Soccer I today, that, there's Nico. enough yeah. talent for it to be East yeah. versus West done. I, that's it. To so make I agree with that. And then they get to play I mean, 60 game. minutes. I agree and with the All-Star setup, but that question you just asked, I don't think it damages MLS's reputation. Maybe I'm an MLS apologist. They just lost 5-0 to Arsenal, Michael. But look at, so you have your best players in your starting 11 playing 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 so then, minutes, and then yeah. you make a line change, and then you bring 30 more minutes. You have an Arsenal team that they have uh -huh. a Premier League title set on their sights. They have new signings. They have, a, And you said it with the mission. They're a team that looked on mission. This, this MLS All-Star team, they're playing for an event. It's an appearance. So let me but ask you this. Would it be better for MLS, do you think, if they just did the skills challenge, if they took the game part away from it, so then it's not this almost embarrassment no, of no, the, no, the, no. the line Arsenal changes? No, Arsenal to partake in the skills challenge. I understand why you want to bring yeah. European teams in, because from the marketing. Because you get fans to go to the game with Arsenal jerseys, you sell How more tickets, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you, you bring them to the skills challenge. Maybe you do the skills challenge before, and you do it on a weekend, not on a Wednesday or a Tuesday. <laughs> And then, and then the main event. Did you want to go? Or? Is, <laughs> <laughs> the Amtrak Excella. And then, and then, and then the main event is your talent. Maybe not even 11s aside. I love it that in the NBA, at certain times in the game, they're throwing alley oops and yeah. they're dunking and it's mm. show. Well, that's what East vs. West kind of turns into. Right, because they know it's not that and serious, and it's they're, I, they're on the same I page. I think this is where they, they should go. They were not go. on the same page. I just, who stood out to you from MLS All-Star? And I think that's where the difference is. If if you think this is going to help MLS, you have to have a, a number of players who you say, oh, they had a really good game. And th they showed up against Arsenal. I I don't know who I could point Honey out. Mokhtar. I thought Hani Mukhtar, yes, you say he showed up and balled out. He at least held his own running past defenders, at least yeah, trying to but conduct. but Michael, look at some all-star game. Look at I, what the when NBA, you talk about when somebody stands play. out in the NBA, they're dunking, they're doing crazy tricks, and that stands so, out. That's you, an all-star. Nico, did you Holding watch? your own against Arsenal, it's like, what? Oh, our best guy can hold his own? Like, the guy that's scoring goals and assists like crazy every single game is holding his own against Arsenal. Arsenal, like, and now there's all why these countries are we exposing watching? ourselves to that? Think I think all the countries watching, and they're like, oh, well, MLS just got beat five to nothing. Exactly, so isn't that bad for their image? In the I don't know what's I, I think, I think image, ultimately, you're you're I would, I would ultimately, it. I went to the All-Star game last year, and what I really enjoyed watching was, and you see what's happening with the League's Cup. The MLS and League MX, there's that merger of, okay, but the, it was both all-star name. teams. Yes, I would do that. I think that is the focal point of what needs to happen. But it's not going to attract the same fans. Happen. If you do yeah, the East but, against but West, But then invite a gonna... European team that's in town, invite them to a skills challenge. Maybe just not Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, or just, I don't, I don't think, think, I don't think, think you get a European team. MLS, they don't have a great record against European teams in the last couple of years. I think, what, they have one goal since 2018? MLS All-Stars? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a team that doesn't it's, exist. Yeah, it's, you it's, don't it's know. Like just you can watch Arsenal, and they knew practice. everything Ibis, that was happening next mm. for their team. Ibis, who's a fantastic researcher, just brought up a great idea in my ear. said, why don't we do an All-Star game between the MLS All-Stars and the Saudi All-Stars, and then we can really... <laughs> 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 that, 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 sign me up for that. How yes. about that? That got me excited. Well, Let's next year. listen <laughs> to what Wayne Rooney had to say after the match because he wasn't very happy. Um, yeah, I thought it was obviously the result is, is what it is, and Arsenal showed the, the quality um, which they have. Um, I thought the, the lads, the All Star lads, um, a little bit nervous and hesitant, um, especially first half when we got into some good areas and. Um, to get the shots off, and uh, I think you see a difference. Of course, you do. Um, Arsenal, one of the best teams in Europe, and um, it was a bit stop-start. Thought the referee um, 
made the game a little bit about himself um, once again. So I think that's something which needs improving in the MLS. I've said it all season. So um, it's a good opportunity for me to to bring it up again. Um, but yeah, um, it was a disappointing <laughs> result. Um, but I think most importantly, it's a, a good event for the fans, and um, especially the fans in DC, to, to come and see some, some really good players um, from the Premier League. The league, I know the league has been working extremely hard um, to try and bring that that gap closer and um, and and bring you know better players in or younger players more towards the peak into the league, which I think they're, they're doing they're doing well. Um, but we're talking about one of the best teams in Europe, in in I believe in Arsenal, where you know this could happen to to any team, so it's very difficult. Um, when you're playing against a team like Arsenal, um, in terms of closing the gap, I think that has been happening um, over the years, and um, I'm sure that will continue to happen and get, and, and get closer. Wayne, um, what did you take out of this game personally as a, as a coach? And you're honing your craft as a, as a young coach. What did you take out of it? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, no, it's, it, listen, it's difficult. As I said, that, um, on Monday, the, the, the players all arrived and literally done a small side of the game um, on Tuesday. As I suggested, I didn't want them training at the National Mall, but that's where we trained and um, we can't do anything. So all we, we were limited to do head tennis, so literally had no time to do any tactics whatsoever. So you put the players out there and hope that they can figure things out. Um, and against a team like Arsenal, that's very difficult to do. Oh, very Wayne Rooney there. What did you take <laughs> out of it? Absolutely nothing. I think. The, the question for me is, what's the goal for MLS? Is it to showcase some of these young yeah, players and the up and rising players? Fun. Or is it the entertainment factor? Because the entertainment factor is there. Let's be honest, they're putting IFBs in players. They're having fun. Right. There's so much hype around the games. But if it's to showcase players, that's far from the and, idea. And, and, and Wayne Rooney, it's, I just think it's a, a little bit unfair, Wayne Rooney, because the one day that English people care about MLS, or a lot of English, I don't, don't want to generalize, but they, they look, this is the window into Major League Soccer, and people are drawing conclusions from the 5-0 result, and they say, oh, look at, look where, look at where Wayne Rooney is managing. I, I think it, it, it touches his pride a little bit, because this isn't a representation of of Major League Soccer and the strides that Major League Soccer has has taken. And you know what? They need to make it fun. <clears throat> Look at what the Kings League has done. Streaming, the, 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 the league where Kuna Huera, I don't know if you guys have seen it yeah. on Twitch, There's, Kuna Huera is the owner of a team. Ibai Llanos, who's a major streamer in Spain, they're doing smaller sides, like 8v8, and they're making it fun, like for an all-star game, like wild cards. Like suddenly a player has to play with a man down, yeah. and they have to take somebody off mm -hmm. the pitch. Then a certain goal is worth more. Like the TST, so, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, so if you... If you, sh you can make it entertaining and make it fun and make it different, and... I'm just to wake up and see yeah. five zero. Yeah. Oh, here we go again with all the memes and oh, look at where MLS is and like yeah, you sell tickets next year. It's gonna be <clears throat> sold out. Messi is gonna be there. Yeah. You're gonna sell it out. Do doesn't matter if you bring you can't get in a ticket already. Real Madrid. Doesn't matter if you bring in Derby County. It's gonna be sold out because Messi's gonna be playing. So I think they should take advantage of that. I, I think look. <laughs> In America, in American sports, your all-star games, it's not just about showcasing talent. It is an entertainment factor. In the NBA and other different all-star games, it is the highest level for sports. For MLS, it is a growing league, and they are still there to entertain. That's why you have the skills challenge. And, gosh, Arsenal definitely entertained. Yeah. MLS didn't. But how is that entertaining when they get one shot on goal yeah. at the end of the game? That's where I think it does need – if you want to make it entertainment and bring one of these big teams in, you can't bring a team in who's prepping for their season to start when another team isn't even a team at all. Like, it just doesn't make sense. MLS All-Stars is not a team. I, it doesn't help to, uh, yeah, you know, Arsenal entertained. The MLS got embarrassed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's from, if, but if from I'm the league standpoint. From, from the, the league, league standpoint, you're growing. You want to just you increase growing? your relevance. All the kits were Arsenal. Why? In the Arsenal showed up and put on a show. For the league standpoint, we, for worse, well, what, that how does that increase the relevance of of MLS because Arsenal played. Do we need Arsenal to it gets bring people up talking. The... At the end of the day, it gets people talking. You go to Twitter, it gets people talking in, about Major League Soccer. But in the but right in or Major wrong League way, soccer, though, it's gonna, it's gonna, people cost, are going to be talking. It's probably the question.